Hey there, everyone. We're back learning about the agents at the center of Remax Center Realty. And today we're getting to know Nancy Van Landingham a little bit better. Hey, Nance. Hey, how are you, Kate? I'm good. How are you? Oh, excellent. So excellent. That's a good one. Nance, so we also, we reference you as Nancy V. Is this just a Remax thing or is that how people reference you in general? You know, when I started at Remax, there were three Nancys, mm. Nancy Guzman, Nancy Ring, and Nancy Van Landingham. And we kind of all needed to have some, and Nancy G, you know, Nancy Ring, that's one syllable, that's okay. Van Landingham is a bit of a mouthful for some people. So we just, they just called me Nancy V. Works out well. Do you have any other nicknames that we should be aware of? I feel like everyone has a good one. That's about it. Um, <laughs> Tom Kelly just calls me V. But, you know, Tom always likes nicknames. I do, too. I do, too. So I know that that wasn't a super hard question, so we'll give you another hard one. Nance, I am a firm believer in birth order. So where do you fall on the birth order scale of your family? Well, uh, this, is a, this is a questionable one because I'm a twin. But I did, <laughs> I did come out first. So my sister and I are are at the top but I came out first four oh, minutes yeah. earlier and then my brother's four years younger that's really funny so your sister is kind of the middle She's kind yeah of middle. although she hates it when we say things like that oh gosh so sorry <laughs> <laughs> so sorry out there <laughs> that's too funny Nance. I love it I forgot that you were a twin so that's perfect absolutely perfect so Nance how long have you been doing real estate let us know I've been at Remax since 1998, so 24 years. Wow, what keeps you in it for so long? I love it. I just love it. It's, it's a, you know, it's sort of a second career for me after I was in academia. But um, I like meeting people. I like helping people. Um, there's a lot of interesting things out there to see, and I learn something every day. And my schedule is different every day. I don't think I could ever do the kind of job where you go to work, arrive at a certain time, do the same things over and over again, punch the clock and go home. I just, that's just not the kind of work for me. Just not in your blood, no. Every day is very different, yeah. very much so. Um, so you mentioned academia, is that your free real estate life? Is that what that looks yeah, like? Yeah, I was at, at one point, um, you know, pursuing degrees in geography. Uh, I did get a master's and a all but writing the dissertation of the PhD. So I was sort of heading on the path to teaching. Um, and I did a lot of teaching at Penn State during that um, time, but eventually I decided um, to put that on the back burner and I got married and I stayed, we have two kids and I stayed home with my kids when they were little, which was a, a great privilege for me to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a sacrifice, but boy, you can't get those days back, so. Very glad I did it and waited till my youngest was, you know, school age and and it was okay for me to be out of the home. Makes a lot of sense. Do you miss, was it geography, geology? Yeah. What did you study? Well, Remind you know, me. It's all kind of related to okay. real Just estate. The keywords. I mean, I wrote my master's thesis on um, property law and the uh, sort of legal setting of land. And so huh. there's an awful lot that I studied in geography that pertains exactly to real estate. Sounds like it. So Nance, now you've been in real estate for almost 25 years here. Um, like you had mentioned, your kids were young at one point in time, they've grown up, but what does Nancy like to do now? What are some of your hobbies outside of real estate? Well, music for sure. I play mm -hmm. both the guitar and the violin. So I play in the Nittany Valley Symphony, which is our local community orchestra. And I play guitar just for fun with my family. We like to sing and my extended family that is. And um, I like to attend performances of, you know, music and all sorts of live performance, as well as, um, I guess I'm also a fan of sports, watching sports. Um, not saying that I go to home football games, but I surely watch them all. And um, and we live on 10 acres out in the country. So we, I also do a lot of yard work and I actually like yard work. I really enjoy mowing. <laughs> I love that. I've just learned the art of mowing. I'm sure my husband wouldn't say I'm good at it and it's not an art for me, but it is pleasurable. It's like very satisfying. 
Yeah, well, it takes me a couple hours because we mow a couple acres and obviously it's a riding mower, so it's not, you know, hard to do, but mm -hmm. um, you get a lot of thinking done. I would agree. And you are quite the gardener. I know you're mentioning like yard work, but I always yeah, love when a, you bring your stuff into the office. We have a great big, uh, big garden and uh, gets smaller every year. As my husband likes to say, the ground gets farther away every year. <laughs> <laughs> we're not as nimble as we used to be but we, we do like growing our own vegetables that's too funny what's your favorite vegetable probably broccoli oh interesting I'm not, not a broccoli fan but that's okay oh I know a lot of people don't but I love Brussels sprouts and broccoli and those kind of things that a lot of people hate mm. <laughs> now we're not fans of broccoli we're not on the same page with that but I did learn about you the other day that you don't drink coffee is I don't know. I've never had a taste for it. I never really liked it. Um, I don't mind the smell of it. Um, I remember going to the A&P with my mother when she would go shopping and I would stand by the coffee grinder and smell mm -hmm. that. I thought that was great, but I've never had a taste for coffee. I drink tea, iced tea or hot tea. That sounds good. We're in the minority with that, but I'm glad we have that, that in common, Nance. Yeah. Great. Well, if you guys want to learn more about Nancy V, I'm sure she wouldn't mind you getting in touch with her, especially if you have any real estate needs. Is that right, Nance? Oh, sure. Wonderful. And uh, shall I tell them how to contact me? Please do. Okay. My website is, or my email is nancy at nancyvl.com. Sorry, Nancy V was taken. And uh, my phone number is 814 571 four, five, nine, three. Wonderful. Thank you very much, everyone, for chatting with us. Thank you, Nancy, for your time, and be sure to reach out to her. See ya.